In this episode we're revisiting my Ham International Concorde Mark II and we're having a look at a VCO voltage feed modification that I found in one of my other Ham International Concords a while ago. So I've managed to recreate it onto a circuit board and let's see if it works. So here's the modification in one of my other Ham International Concords and supposedly this modification was done by a, a respected rig doctor and it's comprising of a 5 volt regulator, capacitor, 10k resistor fed from um, the 13 volt supply that feeds Q38. Now you eagle eye people there will notice it's had a 5kc modification done and it's very very neat. I am actually don't really want to touch that due to it being so neat. But you can see there we've got a 78LO5 regulator, a 10 mic capacitor, a resistor that's fed from the 13 supply. Now you don't have to feed it from the 13 supply, we can go to the other side of the AVR regulator and feed it off the 9 volts. So as you can see there is the 13 volts that feeds the regulator. Goes all the way down to the 5 volt regulator and the output of the 5 volt regulator you see we've got round about 5 volts and the other side of the 10k we've still got 5 volts so the VCO mustn't draw hardly any current at all. So we can get away with using a really small voltage regulator. So here's the board I had made. It's based on one of my VCO boards, but we've added three extra components, a surface mount voltage regulator, a surface mount 10K, and a 10 mic electrolytic capacitor, just as that modification was on the back of the other Concord. So we're going to test it first, make sure everything works, make sure we're getting 5 volts out of the regulator. And sure enough, near enough 5 volts, that's good enough. We're getting 5 volts up to the up to the very cap as well. So here's the Concorde that it's going to be going into, one that I've previously modified. So we need to remove the VCO that I put in. I've already taken the 10 mic capacitor off the back of the board. Now this modification as always requires no cut tracks. As we're not using 5 pins we're just using 4 pins and we're taking a wire off to the AVR regulator. So we'll take out my VCO that I put in that's been working well over the last few weeks and there's our voltage feed VCO put in place and we're going to tuck the wire into that wiring loom and drop it around the back of the board so let's solder this VCO into place as you can see there's only four points to solder now we to cover that hole up So the VCO should work exactly as the other one did, but we've got a stable 5 volt supply going to it, supposedly giving clearer SSB audio. And there's the AVR regulator that we're going to be taking our voltage off. So one side of the AVR regulator we've got 13 volts. We've got 10 volts and we've got 9.4 volts. So we need to be coming off the 9.4 volt as this circuit draws very tiny amount of current it won't impact the radio at all. So there's the feed wire in place. Let's check onto the board make sure we're getting the regulated voltage. Sure enough, exactly the same voltage as before. So now we're on TP1, VCO test point. 
and we just need to quickly align the VCO for a lock across all my bands. So we'll adjust it. So we've got four volts on one end of the band and there's just interlock on the other end of the band. So there's our VCO adjusted. Only 0.8 up on 40 FM, but it's good enough for a lock. Sure enough, the radio's working. We're receiving signals. not really much activity today due to the weather conditions so we'll just have to test this over the coming weeks and see how it performs but seeing we've only replicated the work of a respected um, rig doctor I don't think there should be any problems So there we have it, a um, VCO voltage feed point modification for the Ham Concorde using the 121 chassis. This should work on other chassis as well. We just have to improvise with the feed for the voltage. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.